the Badlands. He apparently drew a gun. Somebody hearing gunfire behind me and somebody fell. Almost everything about this part of town is cheap, sleazy, decaying, and sad. It is an overripe cliché down to the name the residents have given their neighborhood, the Badlands. It is the worst of what happens when the drug trade takes over a house, and then a street, and then a block. Hi, I'm Lewis from Student Missionary Fellowship, and I would like to tell you about a recent trip we took to North Philadelphia, commonly known as the Badlands. It is not a human right to stand up for my broken nation's dream. Open up our eyes so blind that we arrived at Lighthouse Bible Church Friday evening, then we dawned into Saturday morning with some daily bread, then the real daily bread, prayer and devotion. You know what? You're in a pivotal point right now, right now where you're at. Once we prepared, we set out to serve the soup kitchen. That's going to solve something that's temporary. But Jesus Christ wants to solve something in your life that is forever. served at the soup kitchen, we proceeded to hit the streets with some evangelism to share the gospel with lost people.
Then, at supper time, we went out for some cheese steaks. Then that night, we hit the streets again. And then we had the privilege to serve the church, where we also were able to serve the surrounding communities. And just by making themselves available and willing to reach out, we have a testimony of two of our LBC students who went on the trip. Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Amanda. Uh, this lady went by walking really fast as if she had somewhere to be. So I quick tried to hand her a tract and she asked me if it had to do with Jesus. She said to me that she just can't handle something like that right now, that her life is just so much of a mess. She, she also told us about how she had a boyfriend and he would beat her really badly. And she said that there are several times that people, even cops, would just sit there and watch. They would not do anything about it. She talked about her, her drug use, her prostitution, um, how she sleeps with men to get AIDS, hoping she can die. And I just left crying because of that. Filled with hopelessness, wishes someone would kill her. And she's about ready to leave and I asked her if I could give her a hug. And I gave her a hug, and as I was hugging her, she was like, why do you want to hug me? And she's like, no, nobody wants to hug me. And I, it was just really sad. She never once asked us for money. You know, it was obvious she was broke, and she needed to get high again. Um, but she never once asked us for money. All she asked us for was our time, just to listen to her and hear her story. And it made her feel for that split second that someone in the world cared about her. And hopefully she realizes that that someone wasn't us, it was Jesus Christ. Okay.